nothing can hinder. Nurturing every learner, together we soar, make dreams score. Amidst the challenges we face, a journey of learning wins the race. Education for all, let's rise, not fall. This is DepEd Science Ed TV, a video lesson of Wanjimakar Egg National High School, School Division of Pangasinan II. Good day everyone! Welcome to another session of our learning episode. We are now in the quarter 3, module 3 for week 5 and 6. Today, we will discuss about the subatomic particles. The most essential learning competency is to determine the number of protons, neutrons, electrons in a particular atom, specifically the neutral atom. At the end of this learning episode, you are expected to number 1. Identify the three main subatomic particles. Number 2. Describe the locations, charges, and masses of the three main subatomic particles. And number 3. Calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a neutral atom. During our last episode about the phases of matter, we discussed about the six phases of matter. Melting, it is a change from solid to liquid. Freezing, a change from a liquid to solid. Another is evaporation. It is a change from a liquid to a gas, but it happens on the surface of a liquid. Condensation turns a gas to a liquid. We also discuss deposition and sublimation. Deposition is a change from a gas to a solid, and sublimation is a change from solid to a gas. Before we proceed to our new episode, let us check your knowledge about the subatomic particles. It is for you to match column A to column B. 10 seconds is given to you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. These are the correct answers. For number 1, the correct answer is letter B. Electron has a negatively charged particle. For number 2, the correct answer is letter C. Neutron has a charge of 0. For number 3, the correct answer is letter F. Proton has a positively charged particle. For number 4, the correct answer is letter A. Atomic number tells the number of protons. And for number 5, the correct answer is letter D. Mass number tells the number of protons and neutrons. Let's start discussing about the subatomic particles, specifically on how to determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in a neutral atom. Listen attentively and stay focused. Let's start! This is an illustration of an atom. It has three subatomic particles, namely the neutron, proton, and electron. Let's take a look with this comparative table for the three subatomic particles. A proton is one of the three main particles that make up the atom. Protons are found in the nucleus of the atom. This is a tiny, dense region at the center of the atom. Protons have a positive electrical charge of 1 and has a mass of 1 atomic mass unit, which is about 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 24 grams. Together with neutrons, they make up virtually all the mass of an atom. For neutrons, unlike protons and electrons, which are electrically charged, neutrons have no charge. They are electrically neutral. That is why the neutrons in the diagram are labeled N raised to zero. The zero stands for zero charge. The mass of neutron is slightly greater than the mass of a proton, which is one atomic mass unit. An atomic mass unit is equal to 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 24. Electrons are one of the three main types of particles that make up atoms. 
Unlike protons and neutrons, which consist of smaller, simple particles, electrons are fundamental particles that do not consist of smaller particles. Electrons are extremely small. Electrons have an electric charge of negative 1, which is equal but opposite to the charge of a proton, which is positive 1. All atoms have the same number of electrons as protons, so the positive and negative charges cancel out, making atoms electrically neutral. Unlike protons and neutrons, which are located inside the nucleus at the center of the atom, electrons are found outside the nucleus. Because the opposite electric charges attract one another, negative electrons are attracted to the positive nucleus. This force of attraction keeps electrons constantly moving through the otherwise empty space around the nucleus. In determining the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in an atom, let's consider a neutral atom with the following notation. The letter X represents the atomic symbol of element X. The letter Z or the subscript represents the atomic number. Each of the elements in the periodic table of elements has a specific atomic number. The atomic number of an element is equal to the number of protons in an atom. The letter A or the superscript indicates the mass number. Mass number is equal to the total number of protons and neutrons in an atom. In order to determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons, you have to remember these equations. Atomic number is equal to the number of protons and number of electrons. For the number of neutron, mass number minus atomic number. Or just remember this mnemonic, ape man. These equations can only be used if an atom is neutral, that is, it has zero or no net charge. In a neutral atom, there is a balance between the positively charged proton and negatively charged electrons. To better understand these equations, let's have an example. How many protons, neutrons, and electrons are there in the following atom? For step number one, Use your periodic table to find an element. The periodic table is a chart that organizes elements by atomic structure. It is color-coded and assigns each element a unique one, two, or three-letter abbreviation. Other elemental information includes atomic weight and atomic number. The atomic number will tell you how many protons make up a single atom of an element. Again, the equation for atomic number is that atomic number is equal to the number of protons and it is also equal to the number of electrons. For the given element, the atomic number is 36. Therefore, the number of protons is also equal to 36. And of course, the number of electrons is also equal to 36. Protons are particles in the nucleus of an atom that have a positive charge. Electrons are particles that have a negative charge. Therefore, an element in a neutral state will have the same number of protons and electrons. An element's atomic mass is also known as the atomic weight. It is the average mass of atoms of an element. The atomic mass can be found underneath the symbol of the element in the periodic table of elements. To get the mass number, make sure that you round the atomic mass to the nearest whole number. To find the number of neutrons, you will need to subtract the atomic number from the atomic mass or the mass number. Remember that the atomic number is the same as the number of protons. Now, in this problem, the number of neutrons is equal to the mass number minus atomic number. So the mass number is 84 minus 36, which is equal to 48. Therefore, the number of neutrons is equal to 48. Let's have another example. Calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in the following atom. The atom or the element in this problem is oxygen. The mass number of oxygen is 16, and the atomic number is 8. For step 1, use your periodic table to find the element. 
For step number two, find the number of protons and number of electrons. Atomic number is equal to number of protons and number of electrons. The atomic number is 8. Therefore, the number of protons and number of electrons is also equal to 8. For step number 3, you have to calculate the number of movements. Remember that mass number minus atomic number is equal to the number of neutrons. Now take a look with the figure located at the upper right corner. You can see there the atomic number and atomic mass. Atomic number is located at the left side of the element and the atomic mass or the atomic weight is located below the element. Now, to get the mass number, you need to round off to the nearest whole number with regards to atomic mass and atomic weight. Therefore, if you are going to round off atomic mass and atomic weight for oxygen, the mass number is equal to 16. Now, you can now solve the number of neutrons. 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. Therefore, the number of neutrons is equal to 8. Now, let's try a more challenging problem. You need to fill in the missing information to complete this table. Let's check if the answers are correct. Use a periodic table or use the figure located at the right side of the table. The atomic number for antimony is 51. For the mass number, atomic weight must be round off to the nearest whole number. Atomic weight is 121.76. If you are going to round it off to the nearest whole number, it is equal to 122. Therefore, the mass number is equal to 122. For the number of protons and number of electrons, you need to take a look again with the atomic number. Again, atomic number is equal to the number of protons and number of electrons. Atomic number is equal to 51. Therefore, the number of protons is also 51, and the number of electrons is also 51. For the number of neutrons, you have to subtract mass number to atomic number. Mass number is equal to 122, and the atomic number is 51. If you subtract them, it is equal to 71. Therefore, the number of neutrons is equal to 71. So, the table is now complete. Now, it's your turn to answer this practice problem. Fill in the missing information to complete the table below. Make sure you have a copy of the periodic table of elements to help you answer these problems. You can pause this video and fill in the gaps. Click play when you're ready. Here are the answers for the practice problems. I hope you got everything correct. For our summary, keep all this in mind. Electrons are a type of subatomic particle with a negative charge. Protons are a type of subatomic particles with a positive charge. Protons are bound together in an atom's nucleus as a result of the strong nuclear force. Neutrons are a type of subatomic particle with no charge. They are neutral. Like protons, neutrons are bound into the atom's nucleus as a result of the strong nuclear force. Atomic number tells the number of protons. The number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. To get the number of neutrons, subtract the mass number to the number of protons or atomic number. It's time for your post test. What particles are found in the nucleus of an atom? A. Neutrons and electrons B. Neutrons and protons C. Protons and electrons D. Protons and neutrons Which subatomic particle is located at the orbitals? A. Electrons B. Neutrons C. Protons B. None of the above Which 
charged subatomic particle has a charge of zero. A. Electrons. B. Neutrons. C. Protons. B. None of the above. If an element has nine protons, how many electrons are there in this element? A. Three. B. Six. C. Nine. B. Twelve. The atomic number tells the A. Number of electrons in the atom B. Number of neutrons in the atom C. Number of protons in the atom and B. Number of neutrons and protons in the atom That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching and keep safe everyone!